hi guys so today I wanted to do another haul for you guys and I know I haven't did a video in a very long time and I do apologize for that but I've been so busy lately and um, I know I can't really make up for it but I thought I should just do a video for you guys anyway so the first thing I want to show you is um, most of these things have like eye products with it and um, most of them are elf so the first thing I'm gonna show you is this smudge eye sponge that I got from elf and this was only a dollar um, I got this because last time I got the smudge eye uh, the smudge brush and it doesn't really do any justice for me it doesn't smudge that much because it's very small and very thin so I thought maybe if this time I get a sponge it will work better so I just wanted to try that and since it was only a dollar why not right so the next thing I wanted to get is this um, Maybelline Pulse Perfection mascara and it's in waterproof so as you guys know, um, I do have monolids, so my eyelashes are pretty short and they are really thin. And I heard from other YouTube gurus that um, waterproof mascara is better for people with thin or monolid eyes because it will make the curl better. And I like this because it is a waterproof vibrating mascara. And it has about seven functions. Um, the first function is that it's luscious thickness. It has luxurious length. It's smooth separation, intense color, shapely curve, healthy luster, and zero clumps. And this is in color very black and yeah so I really like this I don't use the vibrating part as much what really caught my eye was the vibrating mascara because I was just like oh that's so cool how does that work so when I first used the vibrating part today it was kind of weird feeling kind of tickles so I didn't use it anymore the vibrating part but the mascara itself it's pretty good and I am ha I do have it on my eyes right now so I really like it and yeah it was only for $3.99 so the next thing I'm gonna show you is um, this NYX black and brown eye or eyebrow pencil and it just looks like this and I love this because I put it on my upper eyelid and on my lower lash line and I like how it's brown and black not like black but it's brown black so it, it's really nice on my lower lashes it looks like I just have natural lashes natural dark lashes so I really like that and it doesn't look too um, black so it doesn't overdo your eyes, you can say. So I like that a lot. And um, yeah, if you don't really want an intense look, I would go for the black and brown eyeliner. So like a romantic look, a black and brown would look really nice. So the next thing I got is this Essie Nail Polish. Oh, um, by the way, the NYX was like, I think $2.00. But this, I bought this Essie Nail Polish, and this is in the color Poof Daddy, and I do have it on my nails right now. So it's, as you can see, it's really red and really shiny, and I love this color. It's so red, and it's really pretty. It's very opaque, and the thing that I love about Essie Nail Polish is that I find that they don't chip. They last for a very long time. And they, they have such a nice color and 
since I get my Essie nail polish for about $3, I find it very worth it. I know other people get their Essie nail polish for about $8. So, if you are one of those people who get your Essie nail polish for $8 and you find that really expensive, because I know I do, um, let me know in the comments below if you would like for me to do an Essie giveaway and I will trying to find the best colors as I can for an SE giveaway. Okay, so on with the e.l.f. products. So the first thing that I got from e.l.f., I actually did not, um, the rest of the e.l.f. products that I got were online with Amy, and but this one was not. This was from Target. This is a glossy gloss, and it is in Berry Blush. And this is a very nice color. Um, it does look mauve. So I'm gonna do a swatch for you guys. And it comes out very, uh, it comes out a lot of product on the brush, but this is how it looks. Can you see that? Yeah, so that's how the the gloss looks. It's a really, really pretty color. But for me, I don't like gloss that much because I like to leave my hair down sometimes. And when I do put gloss, I find it really sticky and it dries my lips out. And I hate when my hair goes all over my gloss. I just, I don't like it. So. When I do put gloss on, I don't normally put it on my the whole lip. I just like put a little bit of product and I'll just put like a lip balm or something, like a clear lip balm. So, but it's it looks like a colored lip balm once you put it on. So the next thing I have is this very very pretty cream eyeshadow and this is in the color dawn i love this because it's not too brown it is pretty shimmery though i have it on my eyes also i don't know if you can tell but i do have it on my eyes and i am loving it i've been wearing it every day since i got it i love this product and this is like a really like, it kind of looks bronzy, brownish taupe color. And it's very pigmented, as you can see. It's such a nice color. There goes the Dawn. So, it is really, really pretty on your eyes and cream shadows I find that they last all day so I really recommend you getting um, cream eyeshadows especially since I have monolids and you can't really see my my um, eyeshadows that much and I like to I tend to take naps during the day so I find it looking really pretty when you have cream eyeshadow and it comes off just like that. Okay, so the next product I got was the Candle Light Cream Eyeshadow. And I like this as well because it isn't it isn't really white. It's more like like it says it's it's a cream color, cream shimmery color. And this is also very pigmented. Do a swatch. Can you see that? Well, that's how it looks and it looks really pretty on the inner corners and I use I'm also wearing it on my eyes again. I'm wearing it like on my inner corners and um, half the half of my lid so I really like this as well and okay so as you all know 
I bought this lip balm a long time ago, a while back, and it's in one of my, I think, haul videos, review videos, or something like that, but it's in my other e.l.f. video, and I got it in Romantic Rouge, and I told you guys that I didn't try it yet, and that I really wanted the Mellow Melon, so I finally got a chance to pick up the Mellow Melon, because it was finally back in stock. And I just wanted to do a swatch for you guys with the Romantic Rouge. I tried it. It is really, really red. Like, really, really red. Look, I, I didn't even dip my whole finger in there. I just, this is just a tap. It's really red. And it goes on your lips. Look at that. Look how red that is. That's crazy. I put this on my lip once and... Oh my god, it was, it's a really nice color, but um, for me, I have to use very, very little in order for me, in order for it not to be that red, because I don't like over-exaggerated lip colors, because I don't know, it just doesn't look nice on me. So this is the uh, Mellow Melon. I finally picked it up. And these are like $3. And so were the cream eyeshadows. They were $3. I find them very cheap and affordable. They are so affordable for such good quality stuff. And this is the Mellow Melon. It's kind of pink. It looks kind of pink. Let me do a swatch my arm. So this is a Romantic Rouge on top. And this is the Mellow Melon. So the Mellow Melon looks a bit pinker, but when you put it on your lips, it isn't as pink as what it is on my arm. So that is not bad. Now that I put the Romantic Rouge on my arm, I'm kind of liking it even more than the Mellow Melon, but it's okay. Um, the last, the last um, lip balm that I got, Oh, and these lip balms have, they're conditioning lip balms and they have SPF 15 and it relieves and conditions your lips with nourishing vitamins A and E, which is really good and for $3, like I said, it's very affordable. You should really try it, but these colors are normally out of stock because they're so nice and this color is in nice and natural. So I wanted, a, like I said, a natural color. Oh, you can barely see that. I did not put this on my lips yet, but it looks really color on my skin. But obviously, my lips aren't as pale as my skin, so I don't know how that will come out. But I hope it will come out looking really nice. Okay, so... The last product I got from e.l.f., I hate. I really, really, really hate it. Like, I use this on my nails and I just hate it. It's the Matte Finisher Nail Polish. It does what it really says. It is a matte nail polish. So, as you can see, my nails are really glossy and shiny right now. If I put this on, it will make my nails matte which I thought I wanted. Well, at first I thought it was a top coat. I didn't even know what it really meant, like matte finisher. So, yeah. I thought it was like a top coat, but it makes my nails look really fake and disgusting, and it makes it look thicker than what it really is. It's just, it's horrible. I will never, ever get this product ever again. I hate it. I hate it. And just the last thing that I got was a gift. So the last thing that I got was this e.l.f. Uh, Hyper Shine Gloss in Blossom. And this was a gift because I got the um, three emails. Oh, this is a really pretty color. But you can barely see it. This is like, this is neuter than like, 
the nice and natural. That's what it looks like. So that's it for now and I'll see you guys soon. I got dinner. My dad is like yelling at me. So I'll see you guys soon and hopefully there will be another video next. Bye guys.